Okay, this is a quadratic equation. It has a square part, a uh, variable part, an x part, and a constant part. So what we're going to want to do is rewrite that as equal to zero. So on both sides of the equation, I'm going to add 22, which gives me x plus, sorry, x squared plus 13x plus 22 equals zero. Now this is always good practice when solving a quadratic equation to get it equal to zero. There's a number of things I can do from this point, including the quadratic formula, but first I want to try to factor it. I can indeed factor it, that's going to be the easiest way to solve. So I want things that multiply and give me 22, and add and give me 13. Well right away I see that 22 is equal to 2 times 11, and conveniently uh, 2 plus 11 is equal to 13. So it will factor as follows. Again, 2 times 11 is 22, 2 plus 11 is 13. So this is representing the exact same thing as this, but it makes it much easier for us to solve because if either this is 0 or if this is 0, the whole thing is 0. Therefore, x has to equal either negative 2 or negative 11. I can check by putting these two values into my original equation uh, up here and seeing if the left side is equal to negative 22. Negative 2 squared is 4. Importantly here, we need to remember that when we're squaring negative 2, I'm multiplying negative 2 times negative 2, hence positive 4. So it's 4 plus negative 26, and yes, that is equal to 22. So the first one checks out. Negative 11 squared, similarly, is going to be a positive number, in this case 121. 13 times negative 11 is equal to a negative 143. And when I add them together, again, I am going to get the negative 22. Oh, just notice this was a negative 22 as well. In any case, they both check out. Remember the technique that I used here was factoring and using the zero products property. I look at these and see what it would take to plug in for my x to make either this equal to zero or this equal to zero. Thank you.